How's it, Indian Cowboy, DocSports.com. Coming at you on Monday, April the 4th, as we get this video to you every around this time. Nice free pick winner yesterday as we gave you the Miami Heat, plus the points against the Toronto Raptors, and they ended up winning outright. We also gave you a nice lean on the Houston Rockets as they got it done as well as a big dog against Minnesota. So now it was a good video yesterday. Let's see what we can do today. Uh, hopefully you guys are doing well. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy, and this is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy's been around for 18 years and uh, three months, and Doc Sports has been around for a cool 52 years. How this works is our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Indian Cowboy. A lot of the great statisticians and handicappers there. In addition to that, we do a uh, YouTube premium channel, which we give you two extra thoughts every single day. And um, the cool thing about the YouTube Premium channel is that we give you the two extra thoughts, and then we also do a live show once a week, typically Thursday at 9. We didn't do one last week, so we're going to do it tonight at 9 o'clock for about 30 minutes. Uh, we can watch the uh, national championship together, talk about the entire NBA card for tomorrow and research that. So I'll see you tonight at 9 o'clock. And uh, then on Friday, it's TGIF. You get a couple extra. You get all of our selections for free uh, for Docs on Friday, which is always exciting for everybody. So basically 100 extra selections um, a month, all for just $20 a month, uh, a very great deal. And uh, yeah, a very great deal. And um, we joke that it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, but um, that's just obviously a joke. Sliced bread is actually really good. Um, but I uh, hope you guys are doing well. What else do I need to tell you here? Uh, yep, I have a, a master's and a doctorate as well in statistics. And uh, you know, we enjoy doing these videos for you uh, mostly uh, almost every day. So how this, yep, uh, let me see what else I need to tell you. Yep, and then we do one extra uh, video every single day, and that's what this is. It's our free pick and our lean every day. Be sure to check our Twitter for our consensus polls, our latest trends on late night ball games, our trivia questions, poems and limericks and hot takes all on Twitter as well. And uh, what's up in our neck of the woods? We'll give a seven unit college basketball selection on tonight's total between UNC uh, and Kansas, which should be a great game. And that'll be our seven unit selection. No NBA today, uh, but we will talk about it on the live show. Um, but I will have a uh, your selection on the side between UNC and Kansas. And then I'll also... Um, and then I'll also... Um, give you some thoughts between the Bruins and Blue Jackets in hockey today, given the limited card. But um, you have that for you in just a second. And uh, as far as baseball, it starts in three days. We're going to give you th four MLB baseball futures for free. I'm about to give that for you for free right now. Um, in addition to that, you, we released it on YouTube Premium yesterday. But uh, the four baseball futures for free, I'll be happy to share that with you. And YouTube Premium today is going to be between the Coyotes and the Blues. And you're also going to get two premium hockey selections for free on YouTube Premium. And I'm probably going to tack on the college basketball uh, top play as well. Great content for you today. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. All right, and uh, be sure to sign up for the baseball season. Be sure to sign up for the Korean baseball. Uh, we had a winning season last year. UFC 273 is coming up. Golf, it's Masters Week. We've had a winning golf season. Sign up for the golf season if you can. We're going to have a great Masters Week. Hockey, three-unit selection between the Leafs and Lightning, plus 84.50 on the year. One of the best NHL seasons out there. 113 and 72, 61% for plus 84.50. Uh, Jeff Ruby stakes on Saturday. NBA next pick is on Tuesday, plus 3,200 on the season. Countdown to MLB, just three days away. Four of five winning seasons. Same thing with WNBA. We should have a good baseball and good WNBA season, hopefully. Your free pick today is I'm going with the Tar Heels today, plus the points. You can grab them at plus four. And uh, I know it's an eight seed versus a, uh, a one seed here, but I like the Tar Heels here. And I really don't know why you what UNC has to do to be respected, quite frankly. Um, our seven unit is on the total, but UNC has had a phenomenal year uh, in these late stretches. I'm not taking anything away from Kansas. Um, but this number feels just out of a respect out of Kansas being the one seed. That's why they put them as a minus four. But is UNC really an eight seed? Not based on the recruiting classes. They're not an eight seed. They're a very good team. And it was Hubert Davis's first year as a coach. He made the necessary adjustments. Yes, Kansas beat a hobbled Villanova team. You know, nearly lost to Miami, but came back big in the second half. And of course, they barely got past Providence and Creighton. But UNC beat Baylor in overtime, who was phenomenally coached, by the way. They beat USC, UCLA, who was phenomenally coached as well. It was a very veteran team who went deep into the tournament last year, and they beat that team. And UCLA had big dreams, and they ended that. They beat St. Peter's on their magical run. And then they beat Duke twice, Coach K's last home game and Coach K's last game. <laughs> so what more does this team really need to do? Um, UNC beat a Duke team that only had four turnovers last game. UNC only had five turnovers. I mean, Duke played a pretty good game. They shot 50% from two-point land. I think they were 25% from three-point land. But still, you know, UN Duke played a pretty good game. And UNC came all the way back and won. 
Uh, Tar Heels are 5-0 and ETS against teams with a winning percentage of 60% or more. They've covered all five NCAA March Madness games so far, and uh, they've been too focused throughout the year. I'm going with UNC plus the four as your freebie today, is your free play. I also like the Blue Jackets on the puck line plus the one and a half today over the Boston Bruins. Home and home series here. Uh, Bruins taking the first game five and two. The Jackets have good revenge, and I think they'll keep this game pretty close and show uh, and show up with some pride at home. The fact is that the under is ten and two for the Blue Jackets in the last twelve games, um, off of a home and home situation, and um, I think they sort of show show up today. And if the under is supposed to be good, then I think getting plus one and a half goals on a total of six and a half is pretty decent. If the game is expected to be at six and a half, I'll take the one and a half. Blue Jackets plus the one and a half is your extra lean. YouTube Premium between the Coyotes and Blues, and you're about to get three excellent hookups on uh, College Basketball Premium and the two Hockey Premiums. Hope you guys are doing great, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cow, working hard for you every single day. Please take a moment and like and subscribe. Hey guys, I almost forgot. This is our four baseball futures for the 2022 season. Hopefully, we'll do well in the baseball futures for you. We did go two and one in the baseball futures last year, so hopefully, we'll go. We'll have a good uh, baseball futures this year for you. So let me tack those on for you. Um, normally we do three, but I will do four for you here. Last year was on the Phillies over, which was a winner. Padres under, which was a winner. And the Dodgers over, which lost by one game. So pretty good on the futures there. Hopefully we'll uh, we'll have some uh, futures here for you today. Let me see if I can find it here. Here it is. Uh, our first top future is, again, we do it for free just to get kind of get us, our juices flowing, getting ready for the NCAA or uh, getting ready for the baseball season. So we enjoy doing this for you. And um, it's a lot of fun. It's complimentary. Uh, we try to give as much free stuff as we can. We enjoy your time. So uh, San Francisco Giants under the 85 and a half wins. This team won 107 uh, games last year. This is our top future. Absolutely remarkable considering the division that they play in was supposed to be um, an NL West bottom dweller in 2021. And they were frankly fantastic. However, they're only at a very low total this year. And we like the under 85 and a half. It's kind of alarming. Um, but, you know, keep in mind that Buster Posey retired. Chris Bryant went over to the NL rival Colorado team, right? Jock Peterson joined the club and will likely play DH. But uh, Kevin Gozman is a big loss, and he signed with the Blue Jays. Matthew Boyd, Carlos Martinez have joined the rotation. Maybe they can provide some juice there. But uh, the fact is it's a huge drop-off, and uh, we like the under 88.5 wins here uh, for the San Francisco Giants. We also like the Milwaukee Brewers over 89.5 wins. They won 95 games last year. They won the division, were unable to advance deep into the playoffs. Eventually lost to the champions, uh, the champions, the Bravos, my team. Uh, they have a great pitching staff with uh, Burns and Woodruff and Peralta. And they were able to retain Josh Hader on the back end of that bullpen. And uh, Andrew McCutcheon, Renfro, new offensive additions. And they were terrible versus left-handed pitching last year. So this should help with that uh, debacle. Keep in mind the Cubs, Reds, and Pirates are not exactly the uh, the best out there. And I don't know how much of a competitor they'll be against the Milwaukee uh, Brewers, it's a lower, um, totals lower than the amount of games that they won last year, but uh, the Brewers are really good, and uh, if their pitchers don't get hurt, I think they should do well. We like the over 89.5 wins there. Los Angeles Angels under 83.5 wins. Angels' big deal over the past few years has been their injuries. Trout, Rendon, and even Otani going down can really take a nosedive on this team's offense, frankly. They did pick up Syndergaard, however, he hasn't really pitched in two years. I don't know if he's the saving grace. Will he hold up? Suarez, Lorenzen, Otani, Sandoval, not exactly household names in the rotation. 77 and 85 last year, and I think they'll be even worse this year. Like the under 83 and a half wins, I just don't think they stay healthy. Finally, a boost here. Like the Seattle Mariners, over the 83 and a half wins, our extra fourth here for you. Um, the Mariners were a big surprise last year. Uh, they actually had a fire sale with some players in July and August and still won 90 games. However, odds makers set the total pretty low here. Vegas does not think they'll have much success in 2022, and we kind of agree. They did add Suarez and Jesse Winker from the Reds and um, to add some pop in the middle of the lineup. Robbie Ray is a new addition, and he's a good pitcher. Division is weak, though. Oakland is a, still a seller. Rangers are still rebuilding, and um, as we prefaced before, the Angels always have injury issues. The Astros are still an elite team in the AL West. However, we think the Mariners, with Scott Cervais and uh, Jerry DePoto running the show, will get them over 500 this season. Hope you enjoyed that baseball futures. Again, the baseball season starts in three days, and I will leave this video for you <clears throat> the remaining days so that you can kind of take a gander over the next three days. Hope you guys are doing great.